COVID-19 as a disease has two phases. The first part is the virus attacks the lungs and the problems are predominantly to do with not being able to breathe well enough. But in some people, there's another phase where the own patient's immune response gets out of control and that causes very high levels of inflammation and that damages lots of other organs. When those organs get damaged, they get completely infiltrated with very inflamed white blood cells and they perpetuate the, the injury. So this treatment uses a dialysis machine to take the blood out of the patient, put it into a device where we manipulate the environment for the blood in that device. And that changes the white cells from angry and inflamed to a much more friendly type where they're actually fighting inflammation. Those white blood cells then fall off the device and the dialysis machine returns them into the blood. So dialysis is usually based on removing things from the body. In this case, we're actually helping the patient's own white cells work in the way we want them to. And we're only using the dialysis machine to be able to uh, create that circuit and take, to take the blood out of the body. So we're repurposing machinery and technology that was meant for different purposes. So it's longer because we want to process more of the patient's white cells. So typically we're treating people for 10 to 12 hours at a time. And within this first research study, we're doing two treatments on two consecutive days. And then we are assessing response to that. So I think it wouldn't replace anything. I think it would be complementary. And I think, for instance, approaches where you could give antiviral drugs would be very sensible early on in the disease to try and reduce how much virus there is and how aggressively it's entering the body. However, some of those patients will fail that treatment and go into this hyperinflamed phase. They will almost certainly be transferred to an intensive care unit. And at the moment, we have no therapeutics other than just supportive care to try and salvage them at that point. So we would see this treatment potentially providing another level of treatment and hope at that point. So you're right, the speed has been very quick. Normally to take a study like this from idea to first patient with this level of complexity would probably be something like a year. And we did it in 40 days. And that's largely a reflection of the support that we had from the organization and people expediting all the processes. It's a randomized control trial. So half the patients will be treated, half the patients will get the care that they get now. And the time it takes is very much going to be dependent on how much more of this disease do we have to deal with. So if this study takes longer than planned, I will be very happy because it means we've got less people getting sick. But in reality, I think we're doing these first few patients and we're probably preparing ourselves for the fall when it's likely that we're going to see much larger doses uh, of, of patients coming through and actually hopefully having something in hand to try and help treat them. I, I suppose you know, research has done a really terrible job at bringing the general public with them, because I think we're often seen as just pursuing our own personal scientific interests and not trying to conform it to what society really needs. This is such a challenging disease. It's so devastating. And it's devastating because the disease process is extremely aggressive. But for patients, I've never dealt with a disease that patients are so literate about. Because of all of the press, all of the media, they know exactly what the diagnosis means. They know exactly how bad it is if they get transferred to an ICU. And they know exactly how bad it is if they have to be put onto a mechanical ventilator. And I've never had a disease where doctors feel so powerless and impotent because we have no available active treatment. So the larger question of what do we want to achieve, it is actually to respond to all three of those challenges, directly tackle the disease process, directly give patients some measure of hope that there are direct treatments, and for the healthcare professionals that we are not impotent in the face of this challenge. Research is a team sport and very lucky with the team here and very lucky with our families who are supporting the the long sleepless nights and the weekend working that was necessary for a 40-day turnaround.